to talk to you guys to see if anybody in this beautiful room of glorious people would like to shout out something that you did in what I'm calling a moment of madness in the last few years. We'll section you off to make it slightly easier. Let me give you an example. There was a man a few months ago. I said, what did you do in a moment of madness in the last few years? He said he'd bought a butter churn. <laughs> and I love the sheer panic he clearly had. What if we run out of butter? <laughs> I asked him how many times he'd used it. He said, just the once, because it turns out it makes a fuckload of butter. <laughs> I think the easiest way to talk to you guys is in the sections you're sort of already in. So we'll start at the top, we'll work our way down the room. So that lovely upstairs section. Anybody in that upstairs section want to shout out something you did in a moment of madness in the last few years? Anybody want to start us off? I got engaged. OK, we'll come back to this one. Off. Hold. Well, there's so much to talk about. <laughs> Quite a lot to unpack. <laughs> Lady over here, shout out again. Had a baby. You had a baby. Is it your first baby? Yeah. Yeah. Is it also your last baby? Yes. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody else answered. That's my aunt. It's who? My aunt. <laughs> your aunt. Is your aunt? Did your aunt do a lot of babysitting by any chance? <laughs> Indeed, she lives up the road. She lives up the road. Who moved into the street first, though? I did. <laughs> She's proper arsey, isn't she? I love it. And then she was like, I'm pregnant. I'm going to move in near my aunt. <laughs> this is genius. Uh, what did you have, a girl or a boy? Baby boy. Baby boy. Never mind. You can try again for the proper ones. Um, <laughs> oh, it's fine. Girls are better. It's just a fact. Did you have your baby during the time when it was really scary in the hospitals, my love? It's always scary having a baby. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> I've had some terrifying shits in my time. <laughs> I really have. I had one once while we're sharing <laughs> where I felt like it was kind of like giving birth because there was a really wide bit of it, and I was like, oh, we've got the shoulders past, we're all right. <laughs> but I appreciate it is always scary. Round of applause for the lady with the new baby. <laughs> Lovely. We had somebody else over this side, shout out again. Got engaged. How long had you been with your partner before the proposal? Uh, four years. Four years? Yeah. <laughs> One woman went, eh. <laughs> the rest of you are like, seems fair enough. Just one woman really spoke for the group, didn't she? Yeah, that's reasonable. <laughs> and who proposed to who? He proposed to me. Is this him beside you there? Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> Hold on. Did you say yes, look at him, and then say no? Is that what happened there? Yes. Oh, no. Jason. Well, who, who is he to you? Fiance. Oh, you was with it you? I thought she said no. Mm, no. So, Jason, you proposed to your good lady. Was it a very romantic proposal, my love? Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> no. Yeah. And she went, no. Can you tell me where it happened? What happened? I slapped him round the face. You slapped him round the face before or after the proposal? Is that what inspired it? Is he into that sort of dirty shit, is he? <laughs> Just a really good crack and he was like, fucking hell, marry me. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> now do me ball bag. Oh. not. I'm just taking the piss. <laughs> and have you got kids? Have you got animals? What's the situation at home? We've got kids, but not with each other. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> kids, but not with each other. Well, not if you keep slapping his ball back. <laughs> He's got no fucking chance, has he? Just be empty and dry in there. <laughs> Round of applause for the happy couple. <laughs> And we had somebody else upstairs. Do you want to shout out again? Uh, a lightsaber. It was a uh, nerd sort of impulse buy. 
A nerd impulse buy? Well, you've got your reasons already ready, haven't you? Just... Why don't you think... You think I would think it was a bad thing? It sounds fucking awesome. <laughs> now, it's not a real one, though. No, no. 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 So what, what happens when you press... It can't shoot out. But what... <laughs> Stop it. Somebody's <laughs> laughing over there behind me. It's, uh, it's, three, it's 3D printed. It's 3D printed? <laughs> no offence, mate, but it sounds shit. <laughs> does it turn on, then? I don't really understand anything about 3D printers. Does it turn on? It's more of a display piece. More of a display piece? <laughs> We're picturing your flat now, aren't we? <laughs> have, have you got anything else on display? Um, I don't know, ask her. <laughs> ask her? I mean, we're all surprised you've got a girlfriend. <laughs> Actually, I can't see. It might be his mum. That would make more sense, wouldn't it? Uh, <laughs> I love that you bought yourself a lightsaber. Well fucking done. Round of applause for the Star Wars fan. Upstairs, middle section. Anybody want to shout at something you did in a moment of madness? Got a hot tub. Oh, you saved the confidence. A couple of people upstairs, all of a sudden, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> was somebody over here shouted again? Got a hot tub. You got a hot tub? Yeah. Yeah. Did you? Uh, so, how many people does it sit? Four. Four. You know that, don't you? As well, you've had <laughs> friends round. <laughs> oh no, just the neighbours. I got it from middle. I went into milk. You should be on the advert for Lidl. <laughs> then come in for milk, go home with, you know, somewhere to have sex with your neighbours. <laughs> Is this your partner? Single. You're single. <laughs> He's definitely had people in that hot tub, hasn't he? <laughs> Do you sometimes sit in it on your own? Do you know what all my friends get in it? I don't. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I don't believe him, do we? No. I've got, a, I've got a question for you. I don't know. I genuinely don't know the answer to this. Um, <sighs> in a hot tub, maybe everybody else can answer. I suspect you know, but maybe other people know as well. In a hot tub, does jizz, like, mix in? <laughs> I don't know. Does it mix in? Or does it go, like, stringy, like uh, goldfish poos? You know, like... Go in with a little, like, a tiddly net and just try and catch it. <laughs> yeah, tell me. As you would say, it gets claggy. It, <laughs> it gets claggy. I love that you know and you're acknowledging that you know. <laughs> well, I hope you meet somebody very soon you can sit in your hot tub with. Round of applause for the lovely fella. Thank you. Anybody downstairs want to shout at something you did in a moment of madness? I left my husband. <laughs> you left your husband? <laughs> How long had you been married, my lovely? 25 years. 20... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's gone a bit panto in here, hasn't it? Ooh! 25 years, that's incredible. Are you officially divorced? Have you been through your absolute and all of that? Not yet. January. January. Fucking, it's going to be a good fucking day, isn't it? <laughs> so you left him? I did. Yes, and do you, so do, is he still in the house that you were in together? He is. Yeah, and, and have you got yourself like a oh, fancy lady pad? I'm all over it. I've got You're, I'm all over it. <laughs> you got a sexy pad, have you? I don't mean... <laughs> <laughs> we're sort of that age, uh, <laughs> you and I. And congratulations. And I don't know, like, I'm divorced and then remarried. I don't know if you all know. Uh, everybody, if we've all had breakups and, you know, especially significant relationships. Uh, I don't know if you've been through this phase yet. I feel like you might have done. There's a phase you go through when you get divorced or you end a relationship. There's a phase you go through where you can't sleep. And what you do, this is a tip if anybody's getting there or they're about to dump somebody significant, maybe who's sitting beside them tonight. What a great day. <laughs> 
It's a tip, if you can't sleep, what you do is you have a big cry, you have a wank, you have a magnum, you go back to bed, sleep like a baby. <laughs> Keep the wank and the magnum separate, but it's up to you. <laughs> well, congratulations and have a great day on your absolute day. Round of applause for the fantastic lady. Good answers. Very good answers tonight. Let me tell you a couple of my favourite ones. There was a lady in Birmingham. I said, what do you do in a moment of madness? She said, my lodger. And she went, well, he's Greek. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Fair enough. I said, do you still live with him now? She said, yes. I said, are you in a relationship with him? She said, no, no. I said, well, well done you. You've had this fling. You've got past it. You've been such adults about it. She said, oh, no, it's still going on. <laughs> I said, did he cut his rent a bit? She said, actually, no, I put it up. <laughs> Another one I liked was in Liverpool. Uh, a lady said, I said, what do you do in a moment of madness? She said, I've started drinking wine out of a mug. <laughs> She didn't sound that mad to me, but then she said, no, no, June important work meetings on Zoom. <laughs> she said, the trick is you get the bit of string in the paper off a herbal tea bag and you drape it over the side of your mug. <laughs> She's a fucking genius is what she is. <laughs> Thanks for watching. You know, it'd be great. My brand new show, Bobby Dazzler, is out now and available exclusively on my website, sarahmillican.co.uk. Put the kettle on and settle in.